Welcome into the Fantasy Football Game Show brought to you by Front Yard Fantasy. I am your host, your new and improved host today. You know what? I'm going to cut out the negative self-talk, just throw some positivity in my life uh, and confidence. I am JL. I'm your co-host today, and I am joined by my unusual co-host, who comes on every once in a while, good friend of the show, founder of Roto Heat, uh, Rick Butts. Rick, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for uh, asking me to fill in. I'm, I'm excited to play this game. I haven't got to play it yet. Yeah, I put Simon in timeout, so we asked Rick to fill in to, to really drive that lesson home for Simon. So he's watching. He's just not allowed to comment. <laughs> and also joining us today is special guest contestant Jeff Crisco. Jeff is the editor-in-chief at Football Absurdity and personally one of my favorite people to follow on Twitter. Jeff, how are you doing today? I am doing great, as I punched my mic right before the intro. But uh, That is the best way to start your intro. Yeah. I'm excited <laughs> for this because, uh, uh, as I told you before the episode, my aunt was on Wheel of Fortune in the 90s, and yes. I just I just really hope I do better than she did. Sorry, sorry Aunt Darlene, <laughs> if you hear this. Aunt Darlene <laughs> just got wrecked on Wheel of Fortune. Poor right. Darlene. She's not even here to defend herself. <laughs> she, 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 to said, she's like, like, she was like, number one thing, that wheel is way heavier than you think. Really? Yeah, she said it's kind of heavy. Yeah, she said it's way heavier than you think. So she went to go spin it, and she just kept like not getting it all the way around. And that's hilarious. Like it. her feet start yeah. sliding. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. We got some people here in the chat. Craig saying, "What a lineup for the show today." Now we're cooking with Crisco. That's right. Well done, Craig. Well done. That Good was job. my that was my slogan for running for uh, senior class vice president in high school. Cooking oh, did you win? Yes. Oh, and I stole that from my from my teammate uh, on the basketball team who would say that when I did anything. So, wow, wow! You should, <laughs> you should feel like we should hire him then for like marketing campaign. He's that good with coming up with slogans. I know. Thanks, Pixon. You're saying that Josh thumbnails are NFTs. I would buy. They are. They're. You should just see our folder of like the pictures that the thumbnail you know gets clipped out of. It's ridiculous. It's just like a thousand images of Josh making different expressions. It's terrifying. <laughs> And Alex said, uh, Josh has them crazy eyes. He absolutely does. And he has a giant, whatever you call that thing in the back of your throat that looks like a punching bag. I also found that out from those pictures. Uh, uvula? Uvula, right? yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nailed it. It's either going to be exactly right or that was going to be like an inappropriate thing to say. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Albert said, good afternoon. What up, Albert? Welcome in. We got Damon here. We got... Oh man, Toronto Dave, one and only in here, saying need scamps and Damon here, and Sean Coffee saying what's up everybody, what up Sean, welcome in. And Jay said, wait, Rick said he wanted to play Jeopardy. Is this true, Rick? No. You so last time I was on, he asked me what I wanted to play. I said Fortune, so he gave me Jeopardy. So this time <laughs> he told me today that Jeopardy. it was Fortune, so he's trying to switch it on me again, just so that I never know what's going on. We're playing Jeopardy today. I'm sorry to tell you. Well, I no, won the last not. time, so we can we can go undefeated. It's a fluke. It's a fluke. I lose every time. <laughs> it very, very well could <laughs> be. It's a fluke anyway. And Jay said, J.O., you forgot MLB The Show aficionado for Jeff. Jeff, are you a pro MLB The Show player? Oh, no, I'm very bad at it. I'm Xbox oh, only, <laughs> so I didn't get the game till last year. My last uh, iteration of MLB The Show was in 09 before last year. And, uh, yeah, we're in a little uh, group chat with some fantasy guys who like MLB The Show, so. Uh, yeah, awesome. th th thanks Jay for the shout out. Jay I'm, I'm terrible good. as well. I'm yeah. terrible You're bad as, well. as well. I'm, I think I'm bad as well. I play on the switch. So I feel like I'm already like in Fisher price style here. <laughs> <laughs> I, already... I play the switch. I play the switch on the couch. You know, if I want it, when I'm actually like playing, playing, I'll play on my Xbox, but if I'm sitting on the couch, yeah. I'll play on the switch. Just, yeah. Play a little, pull a little game, play a little baseball while you're watching TV. Huh. And he said, JL pulled a Kansas city shuffle. I did. All right, well, today we got Game of Fantasy Fortune for you all. If you have not played it before, it's kind of like Wheel of Fortune with fantasy football uh, theme, and then we change the rules a little bit. I'll get into all that in a moment. If you haven't already, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to, to Front Yard Fantasy on YouTube. It's a huge help to us. We're here every single weekday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, playing games, having fun, goofing off. Plus, we got some other content shows. It's, it's a great time. So make sure that you subscribe and like. And also make sure you're following our guests here at Roto Heat Rick for Rick and at Jeff Crisco. It's super easy right there in front of you. Go follow them on Twitter. Both great follows. And go, go ahead and check out their work as well. Rick at rotoheat.com and Jeff at Football Absurdity. Tons of good work from these guys. You want to be following them for sure. Guys, you ready to get into this some instructions here? Yeah, let's go. You guys ever yep. Rick, you've played Fortune before. No, I have not. 
You have this is your first time. Okay. This first time. Well, you've you've watched us play it, so you at least know relatively uh oops, did not mean to do that. All right, so Fantasy Fortune. So it's very similar to the game of Wheel of Fortune, if you're familiar with that. We got a board here. We're gonna have puzzles. The puzzles are gonna be probably football related. And uh, but instead of spinning the wheel, we got rid of the wheel on this one. We're gonna ask fantasy trivia questions, fantasy NFL trivia, maybe a little sports betting trivia. Who knows? It's, it's all good fun. But the questions are gonna be simple 50 50 questions. If you get it right, you're gonna get to guess a consonant. Uh, and after you get it one right, you'll be able to, to purchase some vowels as well. If you get three correct, three correct in a row, then you're gonna be have a chance to bank your money uh, in that round and solve the puzzle before we move on to the next contestant. But you got to solve three in a row, and you got to guess three consonants correctly in a row. We're going to keep going like this till one of you solves the puzzle. You can solve the puzzle at any point on your turn, uh, so you'll be able to have the chance to solve the puzzle if you guess a consonant that's wrong, if you guess the wrong puzzle, uh, if you get, get a vowel that's wrong, you're going to get bonked, and we're going to move on to the next contestant. Pretty clear? Any questions? No, nope, sounds good. Yep, Sounds good. All right. We, and if, yeah, we'll, we'll get into some. If, if there's any questions along the way, you ask. And Swamp in here saying, at work and cry. We cry too, Swamp. We cry for <laughs> you. All right, guys. We're going to get into this first puzzle here. The first puzzle is going to work a little differently than the other ones. This one is what we call a toss-up round. It's a toss-up round. So I'm going to show a puzzle, and then I'm slowly going to reveal letters in that puzzle. If you know it, say your own name. Say it out loud so I hear it. Uh, if whoever is the first one here, I'm going to give you the opportunity to guess. If you get it right, you're going to get 500 in your game bank and you're going to go first on the next puzzle. All right, clear? Clear. All right, so let's do it. Let's load up this first puzzle here. Ba -ba -ba. 500. Boom. All right, this is an NFL player. The category is NFL player. This category. All right, I'm going to slowly reveal letters. You say your name if you know it. Jeff. Jeff. Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown is absolutely correct. Jeff, nice, well Jeff. done. Yeah. It's going to give you a nice 500 here. How are you guys feeling about Marquise Brown? I feel like Marquise Brown is one of those interesting players. Josh and I were all high up on Marquise Brown, of course, because we're Baltimore guys. But now he's not in Baltimore. He's in Arizona. Are you excited? Is this a better, is better for Marquise Brown or worse being in Arizona? Jeff, we start with you. I, I think that it's a, a better situation, especially because Kyler got paid today. So and that whole yes, question did. mark got kind of put to the side. We weren't we weren't sure what was going to happen there. And, you know, he's going to slide kind of right into what Christian Kirk did. And I think he's a better player than Christian Kirk. So whatever Kirk did last year is going to be his floor, basically, for for this year. And, um, you know, especially with the six game suspension from DeAndre Hopkins, I think he has a chance to start off really hot in uh, in Arizona. Yeah, absolutely. I, I completely agree. And I think he could be the number one wide receiver on that team at the end of the season. Rick, how do you feel? Do you agree? Are you bullish on Marquise Brown? Yeah, I agree. I, I just think moving to this offense, Kyler Murray's more accurate um, than he's had at quarterback. And they just throw consistently more than Baltimore does. So um, I don't see how it could hurt for sure. All right, guys. Jeff, that's going to start you out with a cool $500 in your game All bank right. here. Putting you in the lead, and you're going to get to go first on our next puzzle here. So I'm going to load it up. This one is an NFL player movie mashup. NFL player movie mashup. So this might be something like, dude, where's my Derek Carr? Or uh, Boston Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, Jeff, you are going first, so you have the luxury of getting a question. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I almost did the Cam Newton like pre-snap move getting ready so yeah if, if you can solve you can totally try and solve right now but it would be quite the feat uh i'm guessing it's not one of the two you said so i'll wait to get some letters <laughs> yeah. that is a safe bet that is a safe bet all right jeff here's your first question here's your first question jeff tell me who had more fantasy points and all my fantasy points questions are going to be ppr related okay probably won't matter in this one but just future reference here so who had more fantasy points in 2021? Was it Matthew Stafford or was it Ryan Tannehill? Stafford. Stafford is absolutely correct, Jeff. What letter would you like to get? Uh, I will go with uh, R. 
You're going to go with an R here. See, there is one R. That's going to give you $500 in your round bank. All and right. You can buy a vow here if you would like. Uh, or you can take another question or you can solve. Those are your those are your options. I will take another question. Take another question. You got it, my friend. Here's your next question. Tell me, who had more receiving yards in 2021? Who had more receiving yards in 2021? Was it Jamar Chase or was it Mark Andrews? <sighs> Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase is absolutely correct by about 90 or so. So well done yeah. there, Jeff. What letter would you like to guess here? What consonant? Uh, I will go with, uh, I'm going with the standard uh, Wheel of Fortune stuff. I will go with S. S. Yes. And There's shout out to S. my podcast for doing the AFC North preview yesterday so that I <laughs> had so that, that Mark Andrews, yeah. Jamar Chase in my back pocket. Just, yeah. Loaded up, ready to go. Uh, quick reminder, contestants, out of the chat for this one. If you can, go to the private chat. Make sure you're not in the chat because our audience, our chat is so good they're too good they're way better than us and they will usually get it way before us so and chat oh. lay along in the chat yeah i'll stay in private chat so stay in private chat at least in between or you know during yeah the when, when i'm when i'm playing I'll, I'll be straight up i was watching a few weeks ago and or like last week and yeah the chat was consistently getting it before the, the people they're so. too good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're way too sharp yeah it's it causes so much anxiety when I'm in like I I'll be in the private chat and I just see all the comment numbers like ticking up. It'll be like oh 40 unread comments and I I'm gonna click it but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, Jeff. We're going into your third question here. This is your last opportunity to buy vows if you would like this turn. I'll go so with I'm any. Just letting you. You you like to buy any? Yeah, I'll buy any. All right. So there are two E's. It's gonna cost you hundred dollars each. It's just gonna leave you with eight hundred in your round bank here. You can buy another vow if you would like. Take another question or solve. I'll take another question. Take another question. All right. If you get this one correct, you're going to be able to and get the letter correct. You're going to be able to bank it. So keep that in mind. Jeff, here is your, your third question here. Who had more passing yards in 2021? Who had more passing yards in 2021? Was it Dak Prescott or was it Ryan Tannehill? Uh, well... Tannehill kind of cratered, and so I'm going to go with Dak here. Dak Prescott is absolutely correct. Right. Jeff, well done. What letter would you like here to bank this money? I'm going to go with M. M. There's two M's. That's going to give you a 1000 additional dollars in your round bank, and you're going to bank this money, Jeff. I'm going to go ahead and give you that, and then I'm going to give you five seconds to try and solve, if you would like, before we move on to Rick here, starting now. I Uh, Bonk. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jeff. I, I know the player, but the rest of it is killing me. That's all right. You you hopefully will get another chance. Yeah. Rick, we're moving on to you. What would you like to do here, my friend? You, you can solve or take a question. Uh, I'll need a question. Taking a question. All right, Rick. Tell me, Rick. Who had more fantasy points in 2021? Who had more fantasy points in 2021? Was it Debo Samuel or was it? Deontay Johnson. Debo. Debo is absolutely correct. What letter would you like here, Rick? I will take an N. N as in no. Bonk. Right. Bonk no bonk, N's. Bonk. No N's, Rick. I'm sorry. Jeff, we're back to you. Yeah. All right. Uh, do I? Can I still choose to buy some letters before I answer a question? You cannot uh, purchase okay. any vows because you don't have any money in your round bank currently. So round only bank. Okay. Stop. Yes. The top bank is the is the one just for this puzzle, and then your, gotcha. your bottom dollar here, your bottom dollar is uh, <laughs> is your game bank. All right. Sounds good. All right. So you can take a question or solve. I will take a question. Taking a question. All right. Huh, let's you know let's let's move on to a different category here. Tell me, Jeff, who had more interceptions in 2021? More interceptions in 2021. Was it Mike Lennon or was it Jimmy Garoppolo? Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Handsome James Garoppolo. You're absolutely correct by about two. Jim, Jim, Jimmy G had 12 and uh, who did I say? Mike Lennon, right? He had 10. He had 10. Yeah, I, I was mad at every single one. So that's a minor <laughs> fan. <laughs> what letter um, would you like here, Jeff? Give me a C. C. 
There are three C's. It's going to give you okay. an additional 1500 in your round bank. And now you can buy a valve if you'd like, Jeff. Um, yeah, I'll go with uh, an A. You're going to buy an A? Yeah. All right, there are three A's. It's going to cost you $300. Take that. There you... And your options are the same. Oh, man. Um... Oh, I, I would like to solve. All right. Say exactly how it's written. Catch me if you cam acres. Jeff, you nailed it. Catch me if you cam acres. Well done. Well done. Woo. I was really hoping he was going to mess it up right there. I figured it out. <laughs> I bet you were. He nailed I it. Bet you yeah. were. <laughs> as soon as I got like the ERS, I was like, oh, that's got to be Cam Akers. And then I just could not get the first half to save my life. <laughs> that that yeah. C was a good letter there. Yeah. C was a clutch letter. And the A was a good choice. I think that, that kind of unlocked it. The chat mm -hmm. absolutely beat us to it on this one. Uh, who was the first one? I think, was it Jay? Vi in here saying, I like to solve oh, the puzzle. Uh, <laughs> what up, bye? And Dave said, "Jail, same bomb. Speak entertainment." I think Jay was the first one to get it. He's a catch me cam makers. Wow, good job, Jay. I'm super proud of you, buddy. Super proud of you for that one. And I was in nice, Jay. Oh man, and then we had Anthony in here. I think I lost his comment. Anthony Leone, stranger of the chat. Welcome back. Oh my God, Dave. Anthony's saying this dad joke of a puzzle had to be created by Craig. You think, you think. I was just channeling my inner Craig <laughs> for this one. And then Dave saying, two Canadian dollars, bonk. <laughs> we love you, Dave. We love you. So Cam Akers. Cam Akers is pretty interesting. I was actually diving into, into his stats, uh, his, his career stats last night. I'm curious how you guys are feeling about Cam Akers. He obviously missed almost all of last season apart from the couple uh attempts he had in you know week 18 are you excited about cam makers to see is his value is he being drafted where he should be jeff what do you think i to be completely honest with you i was kind of i had a lot of questions about cam makers before he tore his achilles um yeah. Drew great wasn't great he wasn't you know didn't have a lot of breakaway runs really couldn't grab that role from daryl henderson despite um sean mcvay repeatedly saying that he's earned more tar uh, more touches and, you know, he had a couple big games and it got everybody really excited. And, you know, the, the lack of pass catching to the Rams running backs, his goal line efficiency was as bad as CEH's um, sharing touches. I was out on him before he tore his Achilles. And, you know, we saw what he looked like when he came back, which it was a miracle he came back. But I mean, yeah. I, now I guess I'm double out on him. Double out on him. Rick, what do you double think? Are, out, you, yeah. are you taking a chance on, on Cam Akers? Um, I'm a bigger Cam Akers fan than, than, uh, Jeff is, but I understand why he's valued the way he is right now, because even though he came back last year, that could still be an injury that we see linger for at least part of this season. Um, and who knows how, you know, how long that'll take because he's in the normal window now of where mm -hmm. people are normally trying to come back. So, right. um, I definitely understand why he's valued the way he is, but I do think that it could go either way from where he's at right now too. I think he's got a pretty wide range of outcomes. Yeah. People, what people are doing is they're saying, well, the second year back from tearing the Achilles, you know, they're usually better and they're counting the five games at the end of last year yeah. as one year. And it's like, no, 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 no. This <laughs> is the first year you're back. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's not a normal situation here. People yeah. don't come back from that injury and play as fast as he did very often at all. Like that no. was, that was crazy that he did that to begin with. I think yeah, he was Jeff the first, I was gonna say, I, I think he's the first running back to do that. We've seen like uh, yeah. Suggs do it, and Michael Crabtree did it, but those are much different positions, obviously. Yeah, yeah, very different. And I love the point you brought up, Jeff, about about Cam Akers. Even when he was successful, it was in a span of a few games, right? It's an incredibly small sample size, which you know it it should it should lower your confidence, right? It should because we just haven't seen it enough that we know he's going to repeat, uh, especially after coming off just a brutal injury like that. Mm -hmm. Anthony the, the one thing go ahead Rick. oh i was just gonna say the one thing that i'll add is that we like volume and even in the playoffs last year when he came back he was getting 16 17 18 carries um so if they're willing to do that last year they're going to give him the shot and he's probably going to be close to that 18 to 20 carry mark so he's going to get volume we know volume equals uh fantasy points but can he be more efficient is the big question i think 
Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a, that's, that is a really good point. And Anthony brings up a, a great point that I think is supplemental. That is, watch out for Daryl Anderson this year. Could be one of the best values to see that his current ADP. And I, I absolutely agree. You know, we don't know what the split is going to be. You know, with Daryl Henderson there and uh, Cam Akers coming back from this injury, so definitely could be a, a situation where it pans out completely different than how we expect now in July. Mm-hmm. Toronto Day saying, I've been told I have a small sample size. <laughs> keep that to yourself, but yeah, bud. Def- definitely uh, definitely want to keep that one to yourself. Guys, you ready to get into the next puzzle? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Dave. Well, Tell yeah, because I'm still on zero. So Yeah. I the mean, we can, we... we can call it here if you want. I mean... <laughs> the longer we talk, the longer I have zero. The less time. Yeah, your probability is going down. <laughs> All right, let's get into the next one. Uh, Jeff, you got that one correct. So Rick is going to go first this puzzle. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm... So pretty self-explanatory. You've seen this if you play in the normal Wheel of Fortune. Rick, would you like to solve, or would you you ready for your, <laughs> your question here? I think I'll take a question. Taking a question. All right, Rick. Let's switch it up here. Let's switch it up a little bit. Tell me, Rick, who had a higher, higher target share on the season? Who had higher target share in the 2021 season? Was it Keenan Allen, or was it DJ Moore? DJ, uh, I'm gonna go with Keenan Allen. I'm sorry, Rick. Is DJ Moore 28.3%? 28.3%. And Jeff, we're moving on to you. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. Jeff, we're gonna stay in this category here. Who had a higher target share in 2021? Who had a higher target share in 2021? Was it AJ Brown or Terry McLaurin? I'm going to go with Scary Terry. Terry McLaurin is absolutely correct. What letter would you like? Uh, give me an N as in Nancy. N as in Nancy. There are three N's. Oh, mm. did I not? I did not clear this. Oh, but I was supposed to give that to you. That's why. Whoops. So I wasn't worried it. about it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like that was a needle towards me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, it was, it was more, it was more of a, uh, I know, I, I know where to get those, he knows uh, I'm good those, for it. those points. Yeah. I know he's good for <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> yeah. Simon's gone and all the, the wheels start coming off the show. All right, Jeff, what would you like to do here? Would you like to buy a vowel? Would you like to yeah, take let, another question? So let me buy an I. I and an I. There's one I. And Rick, okay. don't you dare count yourself out because I've come back from far worse than this. Oh, what do you, I wasn't yet. I was just. Sounds like you're, you're counting yourself out. I'm just saying. No, I'm, I'm a little so. embarrassed. I would like to. Don't be. Keep, I'd like him back. to get his third one right so I can go again so I can try to get points on the board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff, what would you like to do? Another question. Another question. All right, here we go. All right, Jeff, who had more total targets in 2021? Who had more total targets in 2021? Was it Jalen Waddle or was it Michael Pittman? Waddle. It was Waddle. Well done. Well done, Jeff. You are on fire with the trivia today. What letter would you like? Uh, I will go with a T. T. There are three T. Three T's. That's going to give you an additional 1500 in your round bank. And your options are the same. You can buy a vowel. This is your second time. Or I'm sorry. We're going into your third question. So mm-hmm. it is your last opportunity to buy vowels this turn. Uh, otherwise, your options are the same. I'll take an O. Taking an O. There are four O's. It's going to cost you four hundred dollars. Two, three, four. Your options are the same, Jeff. What would you like to do here? Um, I'll take another question. All right, your third question here. All right, Jeff. If that is your real name, tell I me. I can show. You, I can show you my uh, birth certificate. Yeah, please do on on <laughs> street. <laughs> uh, uh, my, right, you want my social security card too. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> What's your mother's maiden name? Yeah, uh, exactly. Just for unrelated purposes. All right, Jeff, tell me who had more receiving yards in 2021. Who had more receiving yards in 2021? Was it Devonta Smith or was it Brandon Cooks? I'll. Mm. 
What's funny is I'm a big Brandon Cooks guy, and I know how many Devonta Smith had, but I can't remember if he's higher or lower. <laughs> uh, I'll go with Cooks because he had over a thousand yards again. Cooks is absolutely correct. He did have yes. thousand thirty-seven, just over. What letter would you like here? Um, I'll go with a F. F. There are two Fs. All right, you're gonna make this money, Jeff. And I'm going to give you five seconds to solve here. And I'm going to actually give you the money this time. Starting now. Playing on the fantasy football game show. You absolutely nailed it, Jeff. Woo! Uh, Rick's like about to punch me. He literally just clicked for me too. Right before he said it, it clicked for me. And I was like, all I got to do is get one right. Uh, I'm sorry, Rick. Oh, my God. Pulled it. Pulled it out. Well done, Jeff. You nailed it. You and it is exactly what you guys are doing. So a bit meta there. I think he might have been the first one to get it. Playing on the fantasy football game show. Joey was close. He said guessing on the fantasy football game show. Yeah, close. Yeah. <laughs> JR said game show. <laughs> Skip game show. <laughs> and uh Mr. Scamper said cleaning my bathroom and packing for a trip. Okay. Uh, it could have been. That's a good guess. It's definitely a good guess. And Vi said, JL needs to trademark Bonk immediately. Bonk. I know. I'm, I already have in my Amazon wish list a giant neon sign that just says Bonk. Big letters. <laughs> make it, I'm going to make it happen. All right. You guys want to get on to our next buzz? I know Rick does. He's ready. <laughs> yeah, let's hurry up. I got to get something on the board. <laughs> All right. This one. This is our next puzzle here. We got an NFL player slash idiom matchups. This is a saying idiom matchup. Uh what I'm trying to even remember the first one I did. Oh, uh, too many Brandon cooks in the kitchen. That's an example. Done that one before. That one was fun. So it's going to be similar to that. Rick, you are going first on this one. You ready for a question? I am ready. I uh, think- Rick, t- tell me who had more receiving yards in 2021, more receiving yards in 2021. Was it Darnell Mooney or Stefan Diggs? Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs is absolutely correct. Rick, what letter would you like? I will take R. R. Bonk. No R's. <laughs> I'm Rick, sorry, man. This is Rick. brutal. We were supposed to play Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You guys changed it up on me. Oh, Rick, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. All right, Jeff. We're back to you. All right. You ready for a question? Yep. All right, Jeff. Tell me who, which NFL team had more total yards 2021? Which NFL team had more total yards in 2021? Was it the Patriots or was it the Saints? Patriots. That is correct. It was the Patriots. Uh, what letter would you like? Uh, I will go with uh, N as in Nancy again. N as in Nancy. There's one. There's one. One little N. It's going to give you 500 in your round bank, which is enough to buy Val if you'd like. Uh, I will uh, take another question. Taking another question. You got it. Which NFL team had more first downs in 2021, Jeff? Which NFL team had more first downs in 2021? Was it the Titans or was it the Raiders? Ah, uh, man. I'm thinking... Because I think in Renfro got a lot of first downs. Waller, I'm going to go with the Raiders. I'm sorry, Jeff. It was the oh, Titans. Was the Titans. He finally I missed one. I meant, to say, one. On. I, I meant to say Titans. <laughs> <laughs> nice I meant, to, try, I meant to guess all kinds of different letters, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rick, it's your turn again. We're back to you, buddy. Holy what are you, cow, you, you ready for one. a question? Yeah. All right. I, I I feel good for you on this one, Rick. I don't know if I should be encouraging you because it hasn't worked so far. So maybe it's having the opposite effect. Maybe I should start being mean. I don't know. All right, Rick. Tell me which NFL team had more touchdowns total, or I'm sorry, passing touchdowns 2021. Which NFL team had more passing touchdowns in 2021? Was it Packers or was it the Steelers? Packers. Packers is absolutely correct. What letter would you like here, Rick? You got this. Let's go with an S. S. There's going to be an S. Will it into the universe? Two S's. Yes. Hey. Two S's for you. No Rick. more zero. So f- for now. 
<laughs> yeah, in the round bank. <laughs> you got to finish. You don't have that money yet. You don't have that money yet. I'm just happy All to right. have something on the board. Just something, yeah. Would you like to buy a vow here? You can use your, your newfound money to, to buy a vow if you'd like. Or you can take another question or solve. Um, let's go with another question for now. Another question. All right, you got it. Which NFL team ran more plays 2021? Which NFL team ran more plays in 2021? Was it the Ravens or the Bears? The Ravens. That's absolutely correct. The Ravens had the most plays run 2021. Rick, what letter would you like? I'm going to go with the T. T. They're bomb. No T's. What? Rick. <laughs> right? No R's, Rick. no T's. No what? R's. Wow. Yeah. How'd you spell these words? I don't even remember what the words were, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I don't even remember what the words were. Sorry, Rick. Jeff, we're back to you. All right. Would you like to solve or would you like a question? I'll take a question. Or you could still buy a vow. You do still have your round money. I'll just take a question. Taking a question. All mm -hmm. right. Let's go to a new category here. Which player had a higher points per game in 2021? Which player had a higher points per game in 2021, Jeff? Was it Tyreek Hill or was it Patrick Mahomes? This feels like a trick question. Uh, but I'm going to go with the quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. That is correct. Okay. Wasn't the trick. Ooh. What letter would you like? Um, man, it doesn't seem like this puzzle has any letters in it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try for uh, <laughs> I'll try for H. H. There's one H. All right, There's one H. It's gonna give you another five hundred. Would you like to do uh, your death? Let's uh, let's buy. Uh, I'd like to buy an A, please. An A? Mm hmm You got it. There are three A's. It's going to cost you 300 and your options are the same, my friend. I'll take another question. Another question. This is your second question, right? Uh, this round? Yeah. This turn? This yeah. round, yeah. Okay. All right, Jeff. Who had a higher points per game in 2021? Was it Najee Harris or was it Justin Jefferson? I'll go with... Uh, God. Um... I'll say Najee. I'm sorry. It was Justin Jefferson actually had a higher points per game. 2021. That was a little tricky. A little tricky. Uh, that was tough. Rick, back to you, my friend. What would you like to do here? Um, We're going to go with a question. All right. I'll get you a question before we do I was going to say that. Hygrolithics. <laughs> Hygrolithics. <laughs> yep. Hygro That's what I put in this puzzle. Hygrolithics. <laughs> Oh, and John Rowe got that last one, JJ. Correct. I was not fooled by my trick. I was not fooled. All right, Rick. You said another question, right? Yes, please. All right. Here is your question, Rick. Tell me who had a higher uh, points per game. This is PPR fantasy points. Who had a higher points per game in 2021? Was it Keenan Allen or was it Aaron Jones? Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen is absolutely correct. What letter would you like here, Rick? I'm going to go with a C. I'm going to go with a C. There are two C's. Two C's, Rick. It's going to give you another thousand. You can buy it out here. You can solve this puzzle. Or you can take another question. Um, I'm going to take an E, please. Taking an E. There are two E's. It's going to cost you 200. But you still got plenty of money. And your options are the same. What do you think, Rick? Um, I'll take another question. Taking another question. All right. This is your second question. Correct. Yeah, it is. I knew it. I don't need you to confirm it. I already know it, Rick. So I know you were thinking about answering me, but don't. Tell me, Rick, who had more total... Fantasy points, 2021. But more total PPR fantasy points in 2021. Was it Tyler Lockett or was it T. Higgins? T. Higgins. Sorry, it was Tyler Lockett. Rick, 
Tyler Lockett questions always get me in this game. I've learned to just go with whatever the opposite is of what I think because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. He's an anomaly. Jeff, back to you. What would you like to do here? Ready for another question? Uh, questions are getting too hard. I would like to solve, please. <laughs> okay, go ahead and say exactly how it's written. Go on a wild goose chase clay pool. Well done, Jeff. You got it. Go on a wild yeah. goose chase clay pool. Nice job. I knew the second to last one was chase, but my brain kept telling me it was Chase Daniels. I'm like, that's not chase. it. <laughs> I think I saw Chase Edmonds early on. Someone, someone uh, yeah, Dustin was in here, what was it, seven minutes ago with going Oof. a wild goose chase Edmonds. And that, does that fit? E D M O N D S? Nope, does not fit. Nice try, Dustin. Nice try. And then Sean came in with the correction Claypool along with Dame and Dustin. So they, they piece it together. The chat pieces together eventually, yeah. but well done. I wanted to ask you guys a bit about Chase Claypool. I feel like he's one of those players where you're either like fully in on him or, and you believe in a talent or you're out. And I haven't found what many people in the middle. What can we expect from, from Chase Claypool in 2022? This So just this season, what are you guys expecting from Chase Claypool? Rick, let's start with you. Uh, I expect a bounce back. We saw a lot of good things in his rookie season and he's, his strength isn't that short stuff that, you know, Roethlisberger could only throw last year. That's, that's Deontay's bread and butter. Um, not that we know they have anybody that's great at throwing deep, but, um, they can't be as bad as Roethlisberger was last year. I'm sure he was probably a little disconnected from that offense since they couldn't run anything downfield. Um, but he, he's young. He's already shown us his his capabilities in, in year one, and I'm expecting a bounce back here in year three. Yeah, that's I, it's interesting. I'm glad I'm glad that you laid out those points because I feel like I more often hear you know people who are down on him than than who are up on him. Jeff, do you agree with Rick? Are you are you uh, are you in or out on Chase Claypool? I'm in, but uh, don't call it a bounce back. He was the same don't player last year. Back. He, he was the same player last year as he was his rookie year in terms of production. He just had seven fewer touchdowns. So, um, you know, Trubisky, jury's out on how good he is as a deep thrower, but he's a willing deep thrower. And so I think those touchdowns will come back. But if you just invite everybody, go look at Chase Claypool's PFR page, toggle by uh, per game, and you'll be like, oh my God, he was the same player. He just had fewer That's touchdowns. Good. So yeah. I'm in on it, and I think he's like 40 and a couple bucks in salary cap drafts. I think he's wide receiver 40, so have at it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, good value. Good value for sure. Yeah, yeah and that, I'm sure that quarterback ambiguity is really going to help his price leading up mm -hmm. to the, the season until we get some certainty on who's starting and, and how well he's performing. So great points by both of you guys there. Let's get into our next puzzle. I don't even remember what I got for you. Oh, I remember what I got for you. Mascot mix-up. Hmm. Mascot mix-up. I'm trying to decide if I should tell you what this is or just let you guys figure it out. I, I mean, I haven't figured anything out, so. That's true. Maybe <laughs> maybe this is like the opposite type of thing, you know? Like, since you haven't figured anything out, now you're true. just going to get it in the first try. Maybe you this will short-circuit me, and I'll just, <laughs> yeah, forget. just I'll forget how to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Rick, we're starting with you because Jeff got that last one correct. Are you ready for a question? I am. All right, Rick, tell me, in 2021, who had more rushing yards? Who had more rushing yards in 2021? Rex Burkhead or Ramondre Stevenson? Ramondre. Is correct. Well done, Rick. What letter would you like? I would like to go with R. R. There are two R's. That's going to give you 1,000 in your round bank, Rick. Rick, Rick, Rick. Oops. Didn't don't want it. Nope. I'm getting all the wrong buttons here. Here we go. Thousand dollars in your round bank. There you go. Rick, what would said, you like to I'm do? I'm gonna break it because Rick's getting points. Yeah, Rick got points. Let me just <laughs> I don't know what to do. Command Q on this PowerPoint here. All right, Rick. Would you like to buy a vowel or would you like to take another question? We're off. I will take another question. Taking another question. We're gonna stick in this category. I like this category here. Tell me, Rick, who had more rushing yards in 2021? Was it Christian McCaffrey or Saquon Barkley? Saquon. Saquon is absolutely correct. Rick, what letter would you like? Let's go with a T. T. There are four T's, Rick. 
four T's. That's going to give you a 2000 in your round bank. And we're going into your third question. So you can buy, this is your last opportunity to buy about this turn. Uh, or you can take another question. If you get that third question right, you're going to be able to bank this money and have a chance to guess before we move on to Jeff. What would you like to do here? Um, I'm just going to take another question. Taking another question. I like it. All about that business. All right, Rick. Who had more rushing yards in 2021? Who had more rushing yards in 2021? Was it Lamar Jackson or David Montgomery? David Montgomery. You nailed it, Rick. It is David Montgomery. He he had about 190, about 90 more <laughs> rushing yards. Not 100, <laughs> just 90 more rushing yards than uh, Lamar Jackson. Well done. What letter would you like here? I'm going to go with the S. S? Oh, Rick, with a $2,500 guess. Five S's here. Rick, you're going to bank this money, my friend. Boom. And all of a sudden, you're back in this game. What did I tell you? I'm going to give you five seconds to solve here once I transfer your money. And that five seconds is starting now. I have no idea. So you can skip the last second. All right. <laughs> that was part that was it. part of the reason why I chose not to. I knew no matter what happened in that that question there, I wasn't gonna have enough to get me there. So that's why I didn't buy any of the vowels. I didn't want to give sense. him any more ammo than he already had. Right. It's a good strategy. It's not a bad strategy. Jeff, we're moving on to you. All right. Are you ready to to answer uh Rick's just comeback right now? Yeah, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> getting nervous. There's All right. Name. <laughs> <laughs> all right jeff tell me who had more receptions who had more receptions in 2021 dalton schultz or russell gage i'll go with schultz schultz is absolutely correct jeff well done what letter would you like oh i'll go with n again n there are four n's I give you two thousand dollars in your round bank, which is going to give you the opportunity to buy Val here if you would like. I'll go take with another a. question. Go, going to buy an A. Mm -hmm. There are three A's, three A's in this one. It's going to cost three hundred, and your options are the same, Jeff. Well, what would you like to do? I think I know what the answer is, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> What's it going to be, Jeff? Uh, another question? Yeah. Or would you like to stop? I'll go with another question. Another question. All right. Tell me who had more receptions in 2021. Who had more receptions in 2021, Jeff? Was it Jarvis Landry or was it LaVisca Chanel? I'll go with uh, Jarvis. I'm sorry. It was LaVisca uh. Chanel. LaVisca Chanel had 63 receptions. It's coincident, not coincidentally, which is the same amount as AJ Brown. Interesting oh, wow. Enough. Um, all right, Rick. So back to you. What would you like to do here? Would you like to solve a question? Um, no, not yet. I need a question. Need a question. All right, we're gonna stay in this category. Rick, tell me who had more receptions in 2021? Who had more receptions in 2021? Was it Devonta Smith or was it Darren Waller? Smith. Smith is correct, but not by very much. By nine. <laughs> by nine, which is much closer than I well, I wanted that to be. But you got it right. Well done. Uh, what letter would you like, Rick? I am going to take M. M. There's one M. It's going to give you 500, Rick. You can buy a vowel now, if you'd like. I would like to buy an E. And an E. There are four E's. That's going to cost you 400, which is not enough to purchase another vow, but you only have 100 left. But you can take another question or solve here. I'm going to go ahead and solve. Say exactly how it's written Minnesota Commanders as Detroit Saints. Bonk. I'm sorry, Rick. That is not correct. That is not correct. Jeff, we're moving on to you. All right. Ready for a question? Uh, I'd like to solve. Oh, you'd like to solve. Okay, go ahead and say exactly how it's written. Minnesota Buccaneers versus Detroit Saints. Jeff, you got it. It is the Minnesota Buccaneers versus Detroit Saints. 
I'm sorry, Rick. Well done, Jeff. That's going to, you're going to bank this money here. 1700. Well done. All right. A little bit tricky is a new category. I haven't done yeah. that one before. Little, well, little I, I thought it said, Where I thought it was going to be. commanders at? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the two E's were already there. So it would have been commandeers. <laughs> commandeers. Yeah. The Washington commandeers. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was a good try. Very good try. And the as, as well, uh, was a little tricky there. The verse, uh, I think the chat got this. Let's see. Vi said Minnesota. He said Commanders as well. Got tricked by that. And I'm trying to see. Oh, Dame got it. Dang. And Mr. Scamper's got it as well. We're right for Minnesota Buccaneers versus D oh and Detroit Saints. Close scamps, but no. Dame is the first one. You got to get it all right, or else Josh gets mad at you. I've learned from experience. <laughs> and Dustin, say, are we talking sports mascots or brand mascots? A cereal. Hopefully, we answered that now. Brand mascots, or team mascots, not brand mascots. All right, guys. You want to get into the, our next puzzle? Sure. I got time for one or two more. Sounds good. All right. All right. This next one, this is, uh, this is uh, we've done this one before. We've done this before, but it's new in this game so far. Same team, first name. So these are uh, a group of players, more than two, a group of players, and it, it's just their first names, crossword style, but they're all on the same team. So these are corresponds to players who are all on the same team. Jeff, you got that one correct. So, Rick, we are again starting with you. you ready for a question? <laughs> again. Yeah. Yes. Microaggression there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rick, tell me, who had more passing yards in 2021? Who had more passing yards in 2021? Was it Jared Goff or was it Kirk Cousins? Cousins. Cousins is correct. Cousins is correct. What letter would you like? I'll go with... R. Like again. Dustin said, don't ever do it again. <laughs> Fine, Dustin. I'll never do that category again. You said N? R. <laughs> Not R. even close to N. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Wasn't listening. Two R's. Good thing you can go with N, maybe. I don't know. That's going to give you a 1,000 in your round bank, Rick. What you'd like to do here, my friend? Um, I'll take another question. Another question. All right, Rick, tell me who more passing yards in 2021. Was it Justin Fields or was it Sam Darnold? Fields. I'm sorry, it was Sam Darnold. Sam They're Darnold both more bad. passing yards. Both <laughs> not both not good for sure. Both not good. Jeff, we're moving on to you. Ready for a question? Sure. I'm just stunned at somebody having fewer passing yards than Sam Darnold. I know, right? <laughs> I know. That was my thing. I was like, Sam Darnold. Answer's never Sam Darnold. Yeah. I know. Wrong. All right, Jeff. We're going to take Let's a go. trip on over to the FanDuel Sportsbook. Uh, this, so we're going to talk about some some lines here. Jeff, tell me, true or false? Uh, well, let me preface it with this. So the Las Vegas Raiders, they're playing the Jacksonville Jaguars in week, in week one, right? Mm -hmm. And it's at Jacksonville. It's in Jacksonville. So Jaguars are home. Mm -hmm. True or false, the over-under is set at 36 and a half. Is it, are you saying true or false, it's exactly that number? I'm saying, yeah, uh, yeah, true or false. And is that true or false, that the line is set at 36 and a half points? <laughs> okay. Uh, the true or false always messes my brain up. I don't know why. Yeah, because <laughs> my brain automatically goes to over-under. I'll say false. Yeah. Say false, and you are correct. It's 33 and a half. 33 and yeah. a half, not nearly as high scoring. Yeah. All right, With Jeff. That defense upgrade in, in Las Vegas that felt a little high against the Jags. Um, yeah, yeah. I would take the over. Yeah, I would I probably would too. Uh with the Raiders there. I will go with an N. N. A bonk. Good thing yeah. I didn't do it then for you, Rick, because it would have bonked <laughs> right? you. It would have right? bonked you. <laughs> No ends. We learned. So, Rick, we're back to you. You ready for I'll, your question? We're going to stay I'll here in the question, FanDuel please. Sportsbook. All right. All right. The Cleveland Browns are playing. Uh, I'm sorry. This is. Uh, okay. Sorry. I re totally read this. <laughs> I one. have a great chance on this one. I know. You right? don't even I know. Get it. Yeah. All right. So, week one, the Steelers are playing against the Bengals. The Bengals are at home. Rick, true or false, the Bengals are favored by four and a half points. False. That is false. They're favored by six and a half points. 
The favorite by six and a half points. Well done, Rick. What letter would you like? I will take an S. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. You'll take an S. There's one S. All right. There's one S, Rick. It's going to give you another 500 in your round bank. What would you like to do here? Would you like to buy a vowel? I'll buy an I. Buy an I. There are two I's. Keeping you alive here. It's going to cost you 200. I will take a question, please. Taking another question. And we're going to stay in this category. Week one, Rick. The Colts are playing against the Texans. The Colts are playing against the Texans in Houston. True or false, the, the Colts are favored by six points. True. I'm sorry. That's false. They're favored by eight points. Favored by eight points. The, Vandal Swarthwick does not like the Texans. I don't, not very much. So they didn't like them last year, and I believe they won week one, didn't they? They, I think they might have. Yeah, that was against, was that the Jacksonville game? And it was super weird. Like, it, I think Teddy, it may, Teddy. Everybody thought that Texans were going to lose, and then they won, I think, week one last year. Crazy, crazy. All right, Jeff, we're, we're back to you. What would you right. like to do here? You want to go ready for a question? Yeah. All right, Jeff, tell me which NFL team had more passing yards in 2021? Which NFL team had more passing yards in 2021? Was it the Broncos or was it the Panthers? Another Sam Darnold question. Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. I will go with the Broncos. That is correct. Sam Darnold didn't get you this time. <laughs> what would you like? Uh, let me get an um, S. Oh, no, it's already up there. T. Sorry. T. Bonk. No T's. Double bonk. No All right. Double bonk. I know. It's rare, but it happens. Rick, we're back to you. I'll take another question, please. Taking a question. All right. Stay in this category, Rick. Which team had more passing yards? 2021. Which team had more passing yards in 2021? Was it the Lions? Or was it the Eagles? Eagles. I'm sorry, Rick. It was the Lions. The Lions had more passing yards. They're, they're a bit tricky because they kind of were like doing much better than we expected, I think, for a lot of that season last year, even though their record didn't show. It's a little tricky there, a little tricky. All right, Jeff. We're back to you. All right. Give me a question. All right. All right, Jeff. Who had more passing touchdowns in 2021? Who had more passing touchdowns in 2021? The Vikings or... The Colts. Vikings. Vikings is absolutely correct, Jeff. What letter would you like? Um, I don't know. This again, it has no this this puzzle has no letters in it. I'll go with C. <laughs> C. There is two C's. Okay. Two C's. That's gonna get you a thousand in your round bank. You can buy a value. Um, another question. I'll oh. buy an E. We're buying an E. Two E's. It's going to cost you 200. All Almost right. took that from Rick. <laughs> sorry, Rick. Sorry, Rick. I'm not arguing if you want to do that. <laughs> I won't I won't be upset. Um uh let me get another question. Another question. All right. Tell me, Jeff, who had a higher target share? Another team. Who had a higher target share in 2021? DK Metcalf or Hunter Renfro? Um Renfro. I'm sorry. It was DK Metcalf. Uh, he was number five in target share. 27. Oh my God. That's crazy. That's for did not know that until this very moment. Rick, we're back to you. Ready for a question? Yes. I'm throwing some, some heats here. Some heaters. All right, Rick, tell me who had a higher target share in 2021, their respective team who had a higher target share in 2021, Mike Williams or Jamar Chase? Jamar. Jamar Chase is absolutely correct. What letter would you like, Rick? I am going to go with L. L. There's one L. There's one L. Slowly but surely, we're, we're unlocking this puzzle here. What would you like to do here, Rick? Um, I'll take another question, please. Taking another question. All right. Uh, let's see. I got I got one for you here, Rick. Who had I, who had more receptions? Who had more receptions in 2021? Was it Austin Eckler? Or was it DK Metcalf? 
Say that one more time. Who had more receptions in 2021, Austin Eckler or DK Metcalf? Eckler. Sorry, it was DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf had more. That was very tricky. That was very sneaky of me. All right, Jeff. You sneaky, ready? Sneaky. sneaky boy. <laughs> All right, Jeff. You ready for your question? Yeah. All right, cool. Jeff, tell me who had more uh, receptions in 2021, Cole Beasley or Kyle Pitts? Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley is absolutely correct, which is a stupid stat. Jeff, what letter would you like? Uh, uh, M, please. M. There are two M's. Two M's. Maybe you've got a little more clear. We'll see. What do you What do you think, Jeff? What would you like to do? Uh, let's. I'll take an A. Buying an A. There are four A's. Four A's. It's going to cost you four hundred, Jeff. Oh man. Um. What would you like to do? Another question. By Val? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take another question. Well, I think about another this question. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh Jeff, tell me who had more total targets 2021. Who had more total targets in 2021? Cole Komet or Kyle Pitts? Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is correct. What letter would you like? Oh God. Uh D uh H. Let's just get that out of the way. There are two we H's. We all know they're there. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to give you another thousand here. Another question, or Val, or would you like to stop? Oh, man. Um, I'll take another question. This is killing me. I'm sure the chat is screaming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. oh, they are. <laughs> all right, Jeff, tell me who had more receptions in 2021? Who had more receptions in 2021? Rashad Bateman or Elijah Moore? Uh, more. More is correct. The letter would you like? God. Uh, D. D. There's one D. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> not not the one you need, right? It's just me buying time to try to figure out. Uh, what would you like to do? I need an answer. No more stalling, Jeff. Is there an O? You can't buy an O. Bonk, oh, okay. but ah, there okay. is no O. I'm sorry, okay. Jeff. Rick? Um, I'll take one question here, please. One question. You got it. Rick, who had more receptions in 2021? More receptions in 2021. Miles Gaskin or Cordero Patterson? Patterson. It's correct. What letter would you like, Rick? I'll take a K. Hey, uh, okay. Let's give you 500 additional dollars. <laughs> I was hoping it was in the other word too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's be clear. The Adam and Mark were not the ones we were stuck on. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'll, I'll take, uh, oh, I'll solve. Oh, I say exact. Well, say it. You just say the names. You don't have to say them in any order, but Michael, say the names. Mark, Adam, Chris, and Marquise. I'll give that to you, Marquez. You got that, Rick. Well done. That's going to give you 2300 $2, additional dollars, but that won't be enough to usurp Jeff in this game. I'm sorry, Jeff. You are the winner of Fantasy Fortune. All right. And it Better was than very zero. close. Better than zero. It was a very hey, close it competition. Was, yeah, it got, it got hairy there at the end. It, it, got, it got a little hairy. difficult. Got, it got difficult. And Dame, 354. So... <laughs> Seven minutes ago, got got this whole puzzle. <laughs> every so every time and, and I Dustin. watch this, every time I watch this, Dame is just like the puzzle comes up, and Dame's like, "Oh, oh yeah. this is the answer." <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Yeah, Dame Dame is a ringer for sure. I will tell Dame you what, a, that ringer. It is so much easier on the other side. Oh, in the chat, <laughs> in the oh, chat, yeah. yeah. Because as soon as everybody's looking at you and you have to try and think here. of it. Yeah, you start it's... to panic. You just think like you fit like dumb words in there, and then your brain can't get off of it. Still Jeff, works. you were great. Yeah, you, Jeff. I had a lot of fun. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. This was fantastic. Rick, thank you so much for filling in and keeping me company today since Simon and Josh didn't want to hang with me. Really appreciate it, man. I needed that. <laughs> they didn't no want to be problem. around me. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> it's a hundred percent your fault, Jeff, as the guest. <laughs> yeah. It was it was a hundred percent a guest thing. <laughs> it happens. But Jeff. 
Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, if you are not following Jeff already, go follow him at Jeff Christo. He's the editor-in-chief over at Football Absurdity. And go follow Rick Butts at Roto Heat Rick. He's the founder of rotoheat.com. Is it fantastic? We love the Roto Heat guys. Make sure you go over and check out their channel. Check out their site. They have fantastic content. I'm serious. You will not regret it. And if you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to Front Yard Fantasy. We're here every single weekday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, playing games, being ridiculous goofballs, pretty much providing value of no notes. So please subscribe. It'll be fantastic. You'll, it'll be the best decision you ever made. Guys, you ready to get out of here? Yes. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Absolutely. All right. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Trading makes fantasy fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.